Along with Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski. Welcome back, everyone, and buckle up while you're at it because this should be a doozy here this evening. Laval's in control. Question is now, can they close it out? I don't see why not. They are obviously in a position where they've been the better team in this series. That's fair. You need one more win to put this to bed. Both these teams look ready to go, as does the official. Let's bring it on. Every game critical in the postseason. This one no different, and we are underway. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Pokes the puck away. Moves it around along the half wall. Move to the middle. Oh, if there's going to be a regret in this one, that might be it. Yeah, that play is right there to be had. They just missed the pass. The scoring chance goes away. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Oh, they telegraph the pass, and he picks it off. Knocks the puck away in the open ice. They gain possession here inside the neutral zone. Moves the puck. And that's blocked. Maintains possession. Laval's got the puck now. Gaining momentum along the wing. Battling for it along the boards. The Moose have gained possession off the wall. Sends a pass over. Here's a shot, and he makes the save. Good save. Positional save through traffic. Another stop by the goaltender. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. The game is still scoreless. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Slides the puck over. Scrum ensues along the boards. Pokes it away in his own end. Laval's grabbed a hold of the puck. Through center along the wing. Laval's got it along the wall. Quick pass to L.A. Taken along the wall by Dauphin. Here he is, wrists it on net, turns it away. Really good positioning as he makes the stop from in tight. Slides the cross ice pass. Moves up near the blue line and looks to set up at the point. Takes the feed at the point. Receives the pass. Grabs the puck here inside the offensive end. Stays with it. Centering pass. Takes a shot. And he comes up with it. You put this kind of pressure on, eventually they can't chase you anymore. Now he's got room to carry the puck. Laval's got possession at center. Moves across the point. Here he is in front. That's using the body on the block. Hangs onto the puck. They fight for it along the boards. Grabs the puck and looks to make something happen. Nice defensive robbery on that. And he was slowed up. Hooking looks to be the call. The official's arm goes up in the air. And play finally comes to an end. Here's the officials. The Rocket have to deal with two minutes in the sin bin for hooking. Even though he's going to argue this, I mean, there's nothing to argue about. His stick gets across the player's midsection. It's a penalty. Manitoba sending their power play unit out for the first time tonight. Everybody's having trouble getting on the board tonight, but here's a power play, the first of the game for them. Steps in and takes the puck. Gets it out of his own end. Retrieves the puck, trying to kickstart this power play. Into the attacking end. Takes a shot. Stopped by the goaltender. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. We've still got zeros on the board. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. The centermen glide into position. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. That opportunity is rejected, and the puck clears the zone. The move. 
Close. Have possession along the boards. Strong defensive effort. Strong use of the body to force the puck loose. Good clearing attempt to breathe. Grabs it in his own end. Gains the zone from the right. Cutting to the slot. Stopped by the goaltender. Quick hands. Not only does he get a glove on it, he catches it, which is hard to do. Well, what a quick reflex stop that is. Great scoring chance. James and Ray with you tonight. More than half the period has been played. Still looking for our first goal. Gets a hold of the puck. Referee's got his hand up, signaling a delayed penalty. And the goaltender gets to the bench for the extra attacker. Gilles blows the whistle, and someone is off to the box. The Moose have found themselves undermanned. Interference the call. That's one of those, instead of arguing, all you can do is go, ah, I'm in the wrong spot. You turn around and go sit down. I believe my mother called it, lump it. As they step into the face-off circle, let's see if they can take advantage on this power play. Obviously, goals have been hard to come by. Here's the first power play of the game. Tries to get it out of the zone. Off his own man, and it stays in. We got a delayed call coming up here as the referee raises his hand. Laval's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. Well, the power play gets another opportunity. They haven't been super busy tonight, but here's a chance to get on the board. Laval's won the draw. Steps inside. Tries to make a move and can't hang on to the puck. There are times you try to do too much. He's got good hands, but maybe a more simple play is the right one there. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. Nice poke check. Trying to clear the puck. Off the glass and out of the zone. Consider that a win for the penalty killers for now. You bet it is. Now they can get a change, get some fresh people on the ice. Laval's power play comes up empty-handed. We're back to even strength on the ice. The only positive for the power play there is they didn't have to skate up and down the ice. They didn't generate anything. They had it in the zone, but really nothing very good about it. To the low slot. Big save. I like the goalie's positioning here. He was aggressive enough to make a save on a dangerous chance. Oh, he just got enough of that one to turn it aside. Here in the late going of the frame, still scoreless in this one. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Laval's looking to break out. Handles the pass from the right wing. Taken by White. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. Couldn't complete the play. Pass stolen in the open ice. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. The Moose have taken possession in their own end. Into the middle of the neutral zone. Laval's got the puck in the defensive end. Officials' arms going up in the air. He caught that hook, too. The goaltender is quickly off to his bench to get the extra attacker out. Let's see what the officials say. The Rocket have been handed two minutes for hooking. I guess at a certain point, you got to let the guy go. But he worries that he's out of position, so he tries to slow him down with a hook. Pretty cut and dry call. And the man advantage unit goes right back to work. Off the draw, he ties up his opponent. Quick feed to Stanley. Comes up with a stop. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. Can't catch up to the pass. And he sprints to the bench to get the extra attacker out on the ice. And there's the whistle. Let's hear the official call. The Rocket have been called for tripping on the play. Played with fire, he got burned, Ray. Oh, he's digging around for the puck, and sometimes you just get caught. This time the player goes down, and he's got to go to the box. Big opportunity coming up with a five-on-three man advantage. 
The five on three can be such a momentum builder. Of course, you got the chance to score twice, but you can wear the other team down. Converse. Oh, look at that. Here we go. We got a penalty coming up right here. The official signaling for a penalty as play is called. Gustafson's going to serve two for holding on this play. So next time he's going to have to find a better way to get in front of the player. He reaches out, grabs him, he'll go to the box. I feel like you could have got away with this back in your day. You could get away with a lot in our day. <laughs> time for the power play unit to get back to work. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Off a stick. The Moose have the puck against the boards. And the power play unit comes up empty on that one. Well, a good power play is about 20%, James. That one falls in the other 80%. They don't get it done. The power play expires. That concludes the first period. Really, both teams still filling each other out here as we are still scoreless. Be sure to attend our Auto and Light Truck Show next weekend and give us a sneak peek at next year's models. Both teams heading down the tunnels. We'll take a quick breath ourselves and be back for the second period. Well, let's see what period two has in store for us as they are about to drop the puck. Still no score in this one. We'll see if period number two finds ourselves a goal. Ray, what's your assessment of the game to this point? Manitoba's talked about getting pucks to the net. They certainly did that in that first period. They just haven't found a way to crack the ice. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. With the steal. He's got a step. Here's a move in tight. Big stop. Oh, outstanding stop. He reads in nicely on the shooter who tried to fake him out of position. No dice. We got a penalty coming up here as the officials blow the play dead. And it's going to be two minutes for hooking on the call. A lot of people debate, is this a lazy penalty to hook? I don't know if it's lazy all the time, but it's a penalty of being out of position. Your stick's parallel to the ice. You get called all the time. They'll go back to work on their special teams. Well, here's another power play, James. They haven't been very good so far tonight. Nothing to show for their previous attempts. So now you have to get back to it adjust and re-attack on this man advantage. Lots of time left in this period. We're still scoreless. Laval's got it and they're on the attack. Let's it go! And that goes off a player. Deep inside the defensive end, still trying to clear. And they do just that. I thought they did a pretty good job there, James. That's a time you can get yourself running around in the zone. They didn't get there. With the steal. Sends the pass over. Here's a chance. Scores! With a little added drink on the side. I like when the bottle goes up in the air, how angry the goalie gets. Like he slaps the bottle away. It's not the bottle's fault. Like, stop the puck, man. Just the insult to injury with the bottle pop. When the goaltender gets into the butterfly, he's just trying to take away as much of the net as he can. He's got lots covered, not enough as he gets beaten for a tally. The Rocket have been hunting for that elusive goal. They finally have it to take the lead. They looked like they were starting to get frustrated. I'm standing right by their bench, and you could tell they were pushing, looking for the lead. They've got it now. Let's see if they loosen up a little bit and increase the lead. There's still lots of time here in this second. Manitoba's got a hold of the puck. Manages to hang on. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Here they come on the attack. And he takes a shot, and that one's turned away. Takes the feed. Gets the puck in deep. Laval's got a hold of it against the wall. Now over to Dauphin. Slides the puck across. Huge steal in his own end. 
Manitoba's stick position is exemplary tonight. Teams can look at this on video and say, that's how you defend the middle of the ice. Here they come on the attack. Keeps hold of the puck. Can't connect. Jostling for the puck and he loses control. Nice pass. Takes that pass back at the point. Oh, and he just puts it wide of the net. Manitoba's got a hold of it along the wall. Slides it diagonally to Green. Manitoba's got the puck against the half wall. Just wide. Laval's got the puck along the wall. Takes the feed in the middle of the neutral zone. Takes a shot, and there's the save. Manitoba's got it in their own zone. Bork's got it on the offensive end. And he regains control of the puck. Couldn't find the intended target. Laval's moving it up the ice. Here he is in front. Stopped by the goaltender. Oh, he had to get up tight to the puck. In close, he takes away any room. He had to be on top of his game to make that stop. That's a great scoring chance, and he turns it aside. Still lots of time left here in this frame. Laval's up one zip. Manitoba's won the faceoff deep in their own end. Tries to get it to Stanley. Manitoba's got it in the offensive zone. Just wide of the net. Now he's going to have to adjust the sights on that one. That thing's off target by a long way. That goes wide. The Rocket have gained control of the puck along the wall. With some open space at center. Takes the pass. Here's a blast. Beautiful stop to get a piece of it with the glove. There's another stop. Quick reflexes. You make one, you make two stops before the puck is cleared away. Manitoba's across the blue line. And that pass goes awry. Solid check to slow him down. Cuts to the front. Whoa. He scores! They tie it up! Brand new game. All that work that's gone behind this. And we're back to even Steven. Goalie just can't keep up with this. He's close to the net, but he's still able to have enough room to beat the goaltender. the midway mark of the frame. James and Ray with you tonight. We are all tied up in this one. Manitoba's won the draw and they take possession here in the open ice. Dumps it in. Laval's got the puck along the boards. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Can't find his man. The Rocket have the puck in their own zone. And now he moves it quickly to Dauphin. Here they are on the attack. Sends it across. Puts it to the front of the net. Oh, what a missed chance that was. Yeah, he's got to make a better play there. He's done everything right. Now you just got to get the puck on the tape. Turns him away. Laval's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Takes the feed at center and moves up ahead. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Picks up the puck in his own end. Takes the feed. Carries the puck up through center. It's a two-on-one. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Can't hang on after that hit. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. The Rocket have taken possession along the wall. With possession along the wall. Handles it along the blue line. The Rocket have it in their own zone. Gets control of the puck here in his own end. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Harkins takes it along the wing. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Denies him with the save. Here's a chance right in the slot. Oh, and another big stop. Really sharp. Never loses sight of the puck to make the second save. 
Into the offensive end now. Move to the middle. Here he is in close. How do you miss that, Ray? I don't know, but we all do. You're right in the scoring zone, and you don't even test the goalie. Ahead of steam now towards the front. Manitoba's gained possession along the boards. Moves it quickly over to Green. Gains the zone through the middle. Good defensive stop with the poke check. On the attack along the boards. To the front. Off the glove. Comrie's locked in. Every puck hits him and stays in front of him. On the odd chance there's a rebound, he tracks that well, too. The scouting report says this guy's got a pretty good glove. I would say so. That's a nice save. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. Laval's got it in the offensive zone. Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. Still too close to call in this one as the second period comes to an end. Hey, hockey fans, follow the team all season long on the radio for every bit of the football play action, both home and away. Or listen to the online simulcast at home or on your smartphone. What's in store for the third period? Let's tune in to find out just moments away. The officials made his way to center, and this third period is about to go. This one's still deadlocked as we are now underway here in the third. Couldn't complete the play. Simple stop by Primo. Works it across to Stanley. Nothing doing on that. Laval's got the puck in their own end. Moves it to the offensive zone. Comrie's going to hang on to that one for a whistle. Quickly on top of that, James. He needed a cover there. I wanted another look at this one. I'm sure you guys were all impressed as I was. What a save by the goalie. Still plenty of time left in this frame. We got a tie game. Nice job tying up his opponent. Up along the wing. Just a great defensive read there. There's the whistle from the linesman calling it offside. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. Face-off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. And he handles a cross-ice pass. Puck knocked loose in the neutral zone. Tries to feed it across. Stanley's got it in the defensive end. They've got the defense outnumbered. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Made that stop. But he came out and challenged a good save. Moves it to Gustafson. Laval's got it along the wall. Here's a short pass to Dauphin. Manitoba's got the puck now. Through center. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. Manitoba's got control of it now from their own end. Across the line. Driving right to the front. Harkins now along the wall. Can't hang on to the puck after the play. They go on the attack from the left side. The Moose have gained possession off the wall. Pins them against the boards as they battle for the loose puck. Skates in behind the cage. Nice defensive robbery with the stick. Quick pass over to Dano. Handles the puck, and he scores on his big day! Oh, get your cake and eat it, too. Have you had eight birthdays in a row? Does it look it? Yes. You've got to get rid of that puck in a hurry from that spot on the ice. You're in the high slot, you're open, but you know everybody's converging on you.
The Moose have really changed the makeup of this third period now, Razor. Most teams are better playing with the lead. We'll see if they'll stay aggressive or if they'll try to protect this going home. Big play inside the defensive zone. LA's taking it from his own end. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. Moves the puck. And that one's blocked! Wax it into the offensive zone. The Rocket have possession along the boards. From along the walls, they're gaining momentum. That pass doesn't go. Move to the middle! And they can't connect! Manitoba's gonna play the puck from behind the cage. The Moose have taken possession along the wall. Levels them with the hit. Puck picked up in the open ice. Well, that's got it in the defensive zone. The Moose have the puck in their own end. Quick pass to White. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Moves it up. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. The Moose have the puck against the boards. Maintains possession. Oh, we got a penalty coming up, as you can see that he was slowed down on the play. Laval's moving it into the offensive end. Time for the official to pass down his sentence. And he's going to get two for hooking on the play, Ray. He should. I mean, he gets his stick out parallel to the ice. He gets it across the player's midsection, and that's kind of a red flag for that penalty. Power play unit going back to work. Well, what a great opportunity for them here. Trailing by a goal, you got a chance to even it up, and you've got the man advantage. Rocks him. Here inside the defensive zone, they get the puck. Coughs it up on the play. Over the net. Oh, man, he's frustrated with himself. He's got to get that on the net. And the puck leaves the zone. Laval's got to hold of it against the wall. And that's broken up with a stick in front. From one point man to another. Trying to get back on the attack now. Quick feed to Dauphin. Turn that one aside. High quality chance, high quality save. Puts it high. Puck move back to the neutral zone. Penalty has expired. Both sides back to even strength. Oh, they're going to rue that one. A chance to even the score here. They didn't get it done. And we go back to even strength. Can't keep a hold of the puck after that play. Moves it quickly over to Dauphin. And they fail to go tape to tape. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Grabs it in his own end. Laval's got it in their own zone. Takes the feed up ahead. Lays the body. Here's a shot denied by the goaltender. Great defensive stick work on the play. Too much traffic in the lane. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. Manitoba's looking to break out. From center, they get into the attacking area. Along the half wall with the puck. And he puts that one aside with ease. Pretty good shot. The goalie's able to get the blocker up on it and put it outside. Just here in the late stages of this frame, Manitoba's up 2-1, and the crowd has been enjoying this one. And a solid job tying up his opponent. Steps into the offensive end. Scooped up along the wall by Gustafson. Takes it from the right side. Couldn't make that one happen. LA's got the puck in his own zone. They go on the attack through center. Stays with it. Manitoba's got a hold of it along the wall. Working the puck deep inside their own end. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Moves the puck along the half wall. Keeps possession. And that one's stopped. Takes the puck behind the net. Back at the point, they set it up. Oh, just wide. Didn't miss that by much. He got lots on it. Laval's got the puck in the defensive end. Over the line they come. Strong defensive effort. Hangs onto the puck. Manitoba's gained possession along the boards. Takes a shot. Stopped by the goaltender. I think through traffic like that, you're just hoping the thing hits you. Less than 60 seconds left here in the final frame. 
And that's a paddling from the goaltender. As we get a look at this again, you can see he just gets enough of this puck to make it miss the far post or it's going in. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Snapper from the slot. Gets a glove on it to make the save. A big draw looming here in the offensive zone. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Battling for it along the boards. Oh, and he slowed him up, and the official's right there all over it. Laval's emptied the net. The extra attacker's now out on the ice. Pretty cut and dry from up here, and the official saw it firsthand with hooking the call. It's a penalty of being in bad position, and I think when you impede a player like this, they should call the hooking penalty every time. Another special team's opportunity for both sides as the man advantage unit is back to work again. Manitoba's won the draw. Can't finish. Oh, Ray, a blown opportunity. It really is. I mean, the play is sitting right there. There's a scoring chance to be had. They just don't execute it. Laval's got a hold of the puck. Gives it right back. Laval's trailing. That's why they've got the extra attacker out on the ice and the goalie on the bench. Denies that opportunity. Right from the most dangerous area on the ice. The goalie flashes the glove. That's an arrogant stop. The net is empty. The extra attacker's out. And a huge face-off looming. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Fires into the empty net. There it is. The empty net goal. And that should bring this one to a conclusion. Doesn't matter how it goes in the net. You get the score, it's always a fun deal. Well, now you got a couple of goal lead here with the empty netter. That should be enough to put this away. The Moose have pretty much sealed the deal after that empty netter. Always a good feeling on the bench when you get that empty netter. It gives you the cushion to realize this one's probably over. Receives the pass. Manitoba's got the puck along the wall. He gets a piece of it with a stick. Coley's at the bench, and the extra attacker is now out on the ice. And that brings an end to this one here this evening. Deuce is wild in this series, pretty much what we expected. Yeah, and now you're getting into the part of the series, James, where it becomes a war of attrition. Guys are starting to get banged up. They're tired. The game's getting more and more intense. For my broadcast partner, Ray Ferraro, my name is James Cebalski. Thanks so much for joining us. Good night.